A new survey released today shows only three out of 10 parents who have kids 12 to 15 years old would get their kids vaccinated as soon as it's approved. The results come as the FDA is expected to grant emergency use authorization of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine to use for children in that age group next week. As Sharon Bagenda joins us live with more. Sharon. Yeah, good evening. Some doctors say this data is concerning because while kids don't get as sick with COVID-19, they can still transmit the virus and develop issues later on. This will also extend the time that we'll need to get to herd immunity. If we are going to get to herd immunity, then children do make up a significant portion of the population. The Kaiser Family Foundation polls show only 30% of parents with a child 12 to 15 would vaccinate their kids immediately. 26% say they would wait and see. 18% will only do it if required. And 23% say their child will definitely not get the vaccine. People are very protective. They're very scared when it comes to their own kids. Even so, doctors say the Pfizer vaccine proved to have 100% efficacy in more than 2,000 kids who participated in the study. They've said they were extremely well tolerated. The side effects were uh, similar or better than in adults. Dr. Hartman is a father of five. Two of his sons, who are 16 and 17, have both received Pfizer. His younger two sons, ages 12 and 13, plan to get the shots immediately. He says having some of his kids vaccinated gives him peace of mind. With them being vaccinated, Vaccinated, I feel very confident that uh, they're not going to get sick by participating in these events. While the vaccine is pending FDA emergency use authorization, the city is actively working with DHS on a parental permission form. Dr. Wesson believes as more data comes out, vaccine confidence will increase just as it did with vaccines for adults. We're also working with MPS and other schools to assure that it's accessible for families and students. That hesitancy uh, goes down and the interest in vaccine goes up significantly. So I would expect similar with uh, vaccines in that 12 to 15 year old age group. Johnson says the decision to make vaccines mandatory in schools would be up to the Department of Public Instruction, DHS and federal entities. She does not believe vaccines would be mandatory by the fall. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Sharon Bagenda, CBS 58 News.